Will your patient respond to fluid? Find out with a simple challenge. Gather the IV fluid, tubing, and pressure bag. Please be sure to follow your institutional policy for pressure bag use. Next, prime the IV tubing. Make sure there is no bolus running before you start the test. Maintenance fluids and IV medications are okay. Your patient can be in any position that is comfortable, but they'll have to stay that way for the entire test. And until the test is done, do not actively titrate vasoactive drips or do anything that could cause vasoactive changes, such as suctioning an intubated patient. Now, you're ready to start. Press Start Bolus. You'll find it on the Dynamic Assessment Dashboard. First, you'll need to establish a baseline. If the Starling monitor shows it already has a stable baseline, you can skip this step. If not, make sure the patient keeps still. Within three minutes, you'll have a baseline. Next, the challenge. Start the IV fluid infusion. A 250 milliliter bolus must be infused in less than five minutes. A 500 milliliter bolus must be infused in less than 10 minutes. You can end the bolus challenge one to two minutes after the infusion is complete or earlier if the patient is shown to be fluid responsive. How will you know? If the SVI is 10% or more, the patient is fluid responsive. If less than 10%, the patient is not fluid responsive. Note that even if the patient shows a change in stroke volume of 10% or more, it does not necessarily mean the patient needs fluids. What it does mean is that their heart can tolerate an increase in preload.